and everyone is currently looking and being judgmental. I'm gonna have some vitamins so I'm extra healthy. And everyone's wondering where I am. Oh, you're in Cantabodities. Oh, you're in Cantabodities. I posted it on my secret account. And you can go watch it. I posted an hour long video at the airport coming here. I had a wonderful mukbang at the airport and then I took you out driving in the middle of the night. And then I spilled the tea about uh, <clears throat> Eternal Victims on my Patreon account. Eternal Victims, I got no time for Eternal Victims. So link down below. I know they all sold out last night, but I'm opening up 15 new spots. First come, first serve. If you want to see a bunch of mukbangs, there's like hundreds there. But it's a secret club and you have to be a big fan. Haters, are they get banned. So that's that. You guys, also, everyone's asking me how to be healthy like me. I'm going to link down below. Um, you can buy this from Amazon. That's where I get mine. And I love it. Now listen here. Excuse me, don't judge the roles, Ashley. I see you judge my roles. You're one day gonna wake up and you're gonna realize that you're overweight and you don't know why. And you're gonna feel sorry that you came for me and attacked me on my name. So anyways, I'm doing nicely and nice well. Extra healthy, you guys, this actually has more than vitamin C. Magnesium, zinc, phosphorus, calcium, vitamin B12, vitamin B3, vitamin, vitamin, vitamin D3. This keeps you from getting sick. And it tastes like soda. So I'm going to link it so you know exactly what I bought if you guys want one. <coughs> Amazon affiliate here. Ooh, ooh. It tastes like vitamin water. I earned from qualifying purchases, commissions. And it helps fund this channel because all the money's going down the tubes because there's no more money going around for advertisers. They're all taking, they're shrinking the, the cuts. I used to get a certain amount. Now it's way less because of, you know what, that's going on all around the world. It's their faults. I'm going to starve. Today... We're gonna have a nice little snack, a little cheat meal here in Cantabonese. And people are like, oh, it's clear he's in Los Angeles. It's clear he's in Las Vegas. Oh, it's clear, excuse me, I went on a date. I went on a date the other day. I also put that on my Patreon link down below. Hey, Nick, show, actually don't show them. They'll go there if they want. You can see the little preview on my Patreon account. You have to be a grown up to follow me there. Yeah, I went on a date and well, I filmed it and we had something good to eat. Because <laughs> that's what we do. And you know, they didn't mind to be on camera. <laughs> and I'm starving. I'm so freaking cold. And I'm, 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 that's how, like, that's why I put my hoodie on. Because I'm like, I'm so freaking cold. And that's what happens when I don't eat. I have a very high metabolism. I'm like a bird. Actually, Orlin, when we first met, he used to call me the radiator. That's before we got romantic, though. But he would, we'd be, like, sitting on a bus in Ecuador or something. He'd be like, oh, my gosh, you're so hot. Like, physically, um, I'm just the radiator. I rate all this heat. And you know what that means? People who are radiators, they burn a lot of calories because they have fast metabolisms. So I have one of those. How's it going over there, eternal victim? Oh! Eternal! Do you know what eternal victim means? Let me tell you. It re refers to individuals in this world who are always the victim. A AKA eternal, it never ends. No accountability, like, oh, hmm. Hmm, it's always everyone else's faults. Eternals, eternally victim. And you know what? It's their own faults. It's their own faults. It's their own, not my fault. It's my, my fault. Oh, people are like, oh, it's your fault. My fault. It's your fault. How is it my fault that these people out in this world are eternally victimizing themselves? They're always poor me. Poor me. Oh. Like, don't you, doesn't that get old? No, it don't. No, it don't. 
doesn't get old for some of these people. And that's why I check out a long time ago. Goodbye. I'm done. Listen, some eternal victims like me, uh, at least we're funny about it. These people are just snooze fests. It's just, it not, it's, it's eternal victim and being boring at the same time. Goodbye. Goodbye, peasant. You're spreading rumors on my name. You want to talk about rumors? <laughs> eternal victim. You know what? Life has a way of presenting itself to work out in the opposition's favor for simply doing nothing. Karma will get you, and it's already happening. Bye! <sighs> Eternal victim. I posted on my Patreon account a bunch of news about my life that everyone's asking me. It's on Patreon, okay? And I don't want to hear, well, you should put it. I don't have to do anything, actually. If you care to know, you care to support. If you don't want to support, then you don't need to know. Goodbye. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Shavers, creepers. Jesus. Mary and Joseph. You want to know why I'm upset? The mailman is getting with my orbit. Now y'all know that we are separated. We keep going back and forth, back and forth. Art, right, listen, it's not okay. It's just not. But now I find out that he always liked the mailman. I'm literally, I'm literally like slobbering on that upset. Orlin has always liked the mailman. Because he's Latino and he's Latino and he likes his eyes because they're dark like it really kind of puts me on the spot, I have to be honest with you. We're supposed to be separated and we're supposed to be allowed to do, but I also feel like, I also want to control him what he's allowed to do and what he's not allowed to do. Ugh! Have you ever felt like that when you go on a break with somebody and then you also want to like be like, but you can't say anybody. So now I'm jealous. I have all these like feelings inside me. I'm like, ugh! He's a lot thinner than me. I would say he's more attractive, which is why this sucks. <laughs> he's a lot more attractive than me. That's the worst. Actually, I would still be very upset if he got with someone that was ugly, too. I don't want him being with anybody. But at the same time, I don't want to be with him. So it's like, how can I have it both ways? See, this is why, this is one of the reasons why we separate. Because clearly, clearly, we can't do it. Can't live together, can't live without each other. Except he says he's fine without me. I'm the one struggling over here. I just feel like a pit in my, it feels like something here drops down to here. And it's cold. Like what, when's the sun gonna come back out? Excuse me, it's already like the first end of the first week of March, second week of March. And it's still cold. I don't approve. At least I have my hoodie, keep me warm. You guys, you can still buy these. I did a little update about the shirts. We changed the fabric. It's still stretchy, still athletic wear, um, but it's actually a different type, which is an improvement. This is still the same, and this fits regularly. I wear a 3XL, this is a 3XL, fits perfectly. But the shirts go, they run a size big. You all saw, right? Yeah, you all saw, I made my announcement. If you didn't see it, we'll go to the last video. I talk about it, if you really want it. One of my t-shirts. <sighs> I'm trying to stay strong. It's just the worst feeling. It's like a, it's like a, it's like right here. It's like, and I, it's like, I'm confused. Should I be angry? Should I be sad? Should I be furious? Should I be depressed? Part of me is slightly like, turned on, which just makes it even harder. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's an uncomfortable feeling. Why, I'm like, I like it and I don't like it. I'm turned on, yet I'm angry, yet I'm furious, yet I'm sad. And it's just like, I'm on the other side of the world here in Canton Bonanis, and I don't even know, I can't keep track. I don't even know, they might be doing it now. But he's more attractive. Y'all got y'all feel this, right? Y'all have felt this before, right? Or maybe you haven't. It's just like saying, like, would I be a, this upset if he was ugly? 
Probably. This guy's so cute. Like, I don't like it. He's also older. He's like 34. Um... He has nice teeth. I mean, I did my Invisalign program, but I'm gonna have to talk about my teeth again. I'm sick of it. Barely any of you stupid peasants left comments of support. I got all, all my advice I need on my Patreon from my, my actual real fans. Y'all are so lazy and entitled. I hate all of you. I hate you. I asked you for some help and no one even bothered commenting. Any help? Maybe four people out of 5,000 comments. This was like five days ago. Four days ago. Nobody said nothing. So I'm going to get a second. I'm going to go see a dentist here in Canada. The, listen, Asians are good dentists too. And I'm going to get a second opinion. Well, actually, I, don't, I didn't even get an opinion from my actual dentist. I didn't even bring it up yet. I just literally noticed it now. Thank God that for lawsuits, the discovery is within two years. It's called the, the time of discovery. Sometimes you don't notice till it's like, oh my God, it's been here. Oh my God. At least my teeth look white. I'm sick of talking about my teeth. So anyways, today we are going to be having white castle. Is this setup good? I don't even know. Um, I got my vitamin shipped to me from Amazon. Emergency. It is an emergency, actually. So we're going to be doing that. And honestly, I just feel like eating. Can I just eat? <laughs> I'm so sad. <sighs> Every day, it's like, why is my life going to be so dramatic? And I don't understand. Do I like Orlin? Do I not like Orlin? Do I want him to be with other people? Do I not want him to be with other people? Then he says he wants to do uh, three ways. And I'm like, well, that's kind of hot. I kind of like it, but I also don't. But I do, but I don't, 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 but I do, but I don't. I used to be so comfortable with myself around. I am comfortable with myself. I like who I am. I like me. I am my biggest fan. I love me. I put my face all over my body and I sell it to people. Thousands of people are wearing this around Walmart today. Thousands. We've sold over like 13,000 of these hoodies. Thousands of people are where I love my face. I really like me. I do. But if there's something with this whole Orland situation. I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like I've lost a little confidence. Orland has said repeatedly he doesn't like me this big. So there's a big part of it. <sighs> I'm not joking, I'm not acting, I'm not trolling. I'm literally, it's like th something up here dropped, like below my, like into my belly. <laughs> it's a really horrible thought, actually. I almost want to talk to him too to like get back at Orland and be like, well, he's talking to me too. This guy don't care. He's probably talking to 5,000 people right now. Because that's what guys do. They talk to everybody. So I'll talk to him too. He must like Chubby if he's with Orland. <laughs> but maybe he only likes dark skinned. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, this is not okay. I saw somewhere. Um, this person was like, this TikToker was like, if you aren't attracted to, what was it? Um, what did I say? Hispanics or sorry, black people, then you are racist. I'm like, I can find people beautiful, but like I have some people. So we should ask every Hispanic person, if you're not attracted to white people, you're racist too. Or if you're not attracted to Asians, you're racist too. What? What? Uh, uh, I mean, ask, I may have a ton of Asian friends from the orchestra. Most of them t typically only date other Asians. It's, it, it, is that, that they're bad people now? It's weird. It's weird. I happen to like everything. 
but I know I'm the minority. Most people have like a very solid preference. Anyways, let's go get some White Castle. I'll see you in the car. I'm having a bad day. I don't know why I keep coming back to Cantabonese. I'm here at the drive-thru, I'm looking at the menu, and apparently there's no more mozzarella sticks, there's no more cheese fries. I'm mad. So we're gonna ask them if they might have it and it's just not on the menu. Keep staring at me like I'm some like there's something wrong with me. There's nothing the wrong with me, sir. So I asked the man, I said, Do you still have mozzarella sticks? He goes, Yeah. I said, Oh, well, I don't see a menu. He says, Well, you just have to look for it. I said, oh, I am looking and I don't see it here. And I I'm I looked right even before pulling up into this spot. And there's none. So anyways, apparently they have them. There's only one size. There's five in each order. So I got two orders. Ten mozzarella sticks. And also, I don't see loaded cheese fries on the menu. So I said, do you have loaded cheese fries? He says, yeah. I don't know if there's one size, two size, three sides. I should have asked. I only want large, large and in charge for my water weight. And I got three, uh, two large onion rings, two large chicken ring, ch uh, onion chips, two large chicken rings, two large French fries. I got a number one combo, which is four sliders and one regular French fry with, he didn't ask me what I want to drink. He did, oh, he did, okay. I said Powerade. I was kind of saying Dr. Pepper, but you know, I really didn't stop with the soda. I think that's why my weight keeps creeping up. You guys know, historically, I've never drank this. I was very good about not having soda. All I had was water, and I still pretty much only have water, but nowadays, I've been having more and more soda, and my chin's doing this. So my chin's expanding before my eyes. I'd rather some other things expand before my eyes. Can't even see it no more. Ah! So there's that. And what else did I get? I think that's everything that I got. Is this enough food? I'm gonna put the food really close to the camera so it looks like a lot. Although this cost $50, well, technically $40, $47, he said. Y'all need to start paying me. You realize I make money on YouTube, but then I spend half of my check back on the food. Cheapers, creepers. I don't know why people live in Cantabotanese. All this air pollution, all these people walking around the streets, get in your cars. And I can't stand people on bikes. Oh, it's good for the environment, blah, 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 blah. You know, I can't see where I'm driving. Get off your stupid, dinky little bike and get in a car. And then they get in front of you in the road and you can't, oh, it's, it's horrible. Sunroof, fancy. Oh, this is not a fancy car, honestly. Everyone has. How do I open? Ah, oh, open. Okay, all right, let's close it. Okay, it's getting too hot and steamy. This place is. <sighs> Goodbye. All right, so I'll. Hopefully, they better, they better give me my receipt first and foremost. And they better give me all of my belongings, or I'm gonna sue. So I'll see you when we get back to the hotel. Goodbye, peasants. Okay, peasants, outfit change, change of the day. You guys, again, if you skipped my other videos of this week, I told you that we improved my merch. Look how big it is now. It actually fits me and stretchy. Like, look at this, stretch, stretch. I could be pregnant with five twins and it would still fit. This is actually a 2XL and I normally wear a 3XL. So we got, we found a brand new supplier that can still make us our stretchy athletic wear without the little holes in the jersey. You know, like, I, I think this is a lot better and it, it fits better. Like, I wore the 3XL and it didn't even fit me before, remember? I'm like, these run a little small, now they run a little big, which means more people can wear these yay so we're wearing gray which is sophisticated you want to buy it go to my store it's just waterweight.com everything's in one bag so 
This might not be my food. We have to see. The guy was pretty nice, I guess. You know, you can tell he's just trying to get through the day. <laughs> okay, they're french fries. I had a few in the car. They're very good today. And I don't even like french fries. They're crispy and super salty. I'm blushing. Oh. Oh, these are my sliders. That's right. I actually prefer the regular slide. What happened to that one? They put it in backwards. I prefer the regular sliders over the cheese ones. The cheese ones dry it out. You guys know I can't do dry food. Can't. Can't do it. Won't do it. Can't do dry food. Nope. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Yes. I'm so excited. Mm. I love the little onions. Now I I poked my head into the restaurant into the kitchen. No one's wearing masks anymore. And I feel like I don't know if I just got used to it, but I kind of like seeing people that are breathing over top of my food to kind of I don't know. I don't know, I feel like you would think we're in Asia, they would do it. Asians love their face masks. I remember when I went to Thailand, everyone had face masks. This was like 10 years ago. At the supermarket. They're all being very careful. Okay, this one's funky. Okay. Next. <sighs> Ooh, mozzarella sticks. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Mozzarella sticks. Ooh. I can't wait to do. I know what I gotta do. I gotta do Red Robin again. Their mozzarella sticks and their onion rings are the best on the planet. I will go to Red Robin. Their burgers are good. I love Red Robin. It's very expensive, but I love Red Robin. Okay, so I was thinking we could make a cute little pyramid or something up here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Just like this. Ooh, come on, get down in there. Get down in there. Get down in there. Isn't that a song? Look at that. This is how I play with my food. I make thumbnails. Look at that. Okay, next we have two more bags. This better be enough food. Everything smells really good. Everything's really hot. I can literally see the steam coming out. Ooh. I mean, the best is always in the car, but that's also gross because it gets everywhere. Lots of ketchups and mustards. Cheese fries. I smell the bacon. Mm. Cheese fries. Oh, we got some onion chips. Oh, these are so good. I need to go to Farmer Boys and get me some nice, good uh, sour cream based ranch. Or Wingstop. There's Wingstop. In get the boat to knees, didn't you know? Yep. All right, so that's that. And last but not least, last bag. Is this enough food? Am I missing anything? French fry huge, number one. French fry huge, number two. Oh, the French fries are good today. These are good today. The French fries, crispy, gooey on the inside. Oh, some extra uh, onion chips. And that's it. Let me set up this thumbnail. Here we go. It's kind of already cute, but y'all know me. I'm an artist. Here we go. One, two, three. Bam! <gasps> yes! Yes! I'm so happy. Oh, this looks really incredible. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Nothing fall. Don't fall. Cheers! Uh, thank you, White Castle, for making my bones healthy and strong, in my opinion. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is eat. I love cheese, da dun. I love cheese, da dun. I love. Greasy. Mmm. That's greasy. Ooh. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. That's really good.
Mmm. Mmm. That is better than the side. I have some Louisiana hot sauce that I'm gonna try with some of this food. Not sure yet, but. but. <laughs> Let's see these french fries. Ooh. The french fries are good today. Mmm. I don't really like french fries. They are good today. Now, <clears throat> does Powerade have vitamins? You guys know I love vitamins. I know vitamin water has vitamins. What does Powerade have? Electrolyte, electrolytes, right? It's, oh, oh. it's your fault, Ashley. Mm. Ah, chippers. Let's try these onion chips. Don't even look at me. Mm. They give me a fork. They do not give me a fork for my cheese fries. Mmm. Oh, these are perfection. Oh. We're actually gonna make some vitamins. Actually, first before we make my vitamins, we're gonna go get a fork. I'm not turning this off. I'm actually gonna, um, I have some leftover ranch that I got from Jack in the Box, which is just sitting down over here. And I'm also going to get a fork for my cheese fries. Okay, I got it, I got it. Don't, excuse me people, I'm here. I just, I don't feel like really editing what I don't have to edit. Jack and Butch Ranch. Let's try these loaded cheese fries. I saw a wonderful sign from God. Do you know what he said? Breakfast is back from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at White Castle. Oh, I saw that sign and literally all of my sadness about Orland went away. Mmm, mmm. Oh. White Castle has one of my favorite breakfast menus out of all fast food. Mmm. Mmm. Did you know? White Castle. I like it better than McDonald's. I like it better than <clears throat> Wendy's. I don't like it better than Burger King, but that's rare to not like. But Burger King is unbeatable. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. I kind of want to eat it all in one go, but I know I'm not supposed to. Okay, let's try these little chicken rings. Chicken rings, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, soft, melts in your mouth. Unique, different. A very nice, soft, they're so soft. <clears throat> Let's pair it with some ranch. Now this is the ranch dressing <clears throat> that came with my sad, stupid little salad. That <sighs> I got from Jack of the Box. Ooh, that is how you do it. Mm. 
Mm. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna combine that with my hot sauce. Mm. Okay, I got a new shipment. Wipe my hands. This came in the mail today. Emergency. Thank you, Amazon Prime. I ordered it yesterday. It came today. In case you've never seen one of these. This is vitamins. It tastes like orange soda. But it's powder. And it contains vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin B3, vitamin B9, vitamin B12. Has thymine, has vitamin D3, vitamin C. Barely any sugar. We're talking like a measly couple grams. Bam. Excuse me, it has zinc, it has magnesium, it has chromium, it has potassium. Not that much potassium, but a little bit. A good amount of magnesium. This is vitamins in a soda. So I'm gonna link this if you guys want it. I, <clears throat> I earn on qualifying purchases as an Amazon affiliate. Ooh, at no extra charge to you, so y'all pay just, you know, the normal rate. And what you do is get some water. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I'm not turning this off, people. This is a small little studio so I can walk from place to place. You know, it's easy. <clears throat> and then my bed's right there. <laughs> Okay. And you mix it up and it turns into orange cream school soda. No, I'm not sick or anything. I just, this is a, a preventative measure. Just like you wash your hands. Just like you take your supplements. You know, eat a wholesome, healthy, whole foods diet. Well, this is another preventative. Mmm. <sighs> It really tastes like vitamin water that you get Okay, let's try these. I'm yapping and I haven't tried it yet. This is the original slider. Oh, fluffy. Yeah. Yes. And see what I mean? It's gone before you know it. Now, we're going to make one. I'm going to do my special way. <clears throat> Take some mustard. Put a little mustard up on there. Okay, okay. Get all the mustard in that we want the whole pack. This is barely it full at all. Get some white castle ketchup. Put a little cat. Ooh. Uh-huh. And we're gonna take a little dab of ranch from Jack in the Box salads, which I don't eat. Mm. And we'll save the hot sauce for a different one. Okay. Take a look. Take a look at here. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. I got it all over my Walmart shirt, but that's okay. Oh my God. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> Dress to impress. <clears throat> Let's go back to these mozzarella sticks. Way better than Sonic. Way better. Way better than Sonic because it's not too hard. It's nice and soft. Mm. 
who could be ringing at this hour? It's Nancy. I'm not opening the message. Mmm. The fries are good today. Mmm. So I was looking on Google. <clears throat> Shout out to one of my patrons. I'm not gonna say who because it's kind of personal information, but this person told me that they have a herniated stomach. So every time they eat food, it's hard to breathe. They feel like lots of like acid reflux. And I have been feeling this pretty intensely for the past couple of weeks. And I was looking at all the symptoms, I have all the symptoms. I think I have a herniated, herniated stomach. Which means it's that like things get trapped. Uh, <clears throat> it's hard to breathe when I eat. Have you noticed I'm getting more out of breath? <clears throat> Just from eating. That's never been a thing. I don't want to hear, oh, look at your weight. I have been in the 350s for a year. But it's not been going on for a year. This has been going on for literally like a month. Like intensely. <sighs> when I'm trying to eat. And um, one of my Patreon followers, she told me she has it. And I might have it too. So add that to the list, everybody. I'm gonna have to go get that checked. How do they test for it? I forgot to look that part up. Mm. So when I eat food, I feel a lot of pressure in my chest. Every time, no matter what it is. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gasping for air. <clears throat> Apparently there's no uh, cure. Great. Just what I need in my, my life, right? <clears throat> More complications. Broken ribs, broken heel spur, hernia in my lower stomach, sleep apnea, diabetes, hypertension. The list goes on. I feel like I'm being punished. I should not have these many medical problems. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Oh man, look at that. Look at that, Ashley. I know you're starving. Mmm. Mmm. Dad, my smell tastes like good. Okay, now. Now we're going to do. A slider. Look at the onions coming out. Little baby onions. <clears throat> and this time we're going to put ranch. Okay. And we're also going to put Louisiana hot sauce that I got from Raising Cane's. Which I remember having one day and it was a great day. Okay, so let's try this. Ooh. 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 It's kind of dripping all over everything. That's okay. Ooh. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh! Spicy burger. <clears throat> A little more ranch to cool it off. Ooh. Mercy. my breath. See what I mean? 
So I don't know what's going on down there. But I need to get that checked. Mmm. Have you ever looked at the boxes? <clears throat> Long live Gail and Jacob. Long live traditions. Long live Robert. See the boxes? Who's Robert? Long live Richard. They better say I'm gonna live long. I'm very healthy. Where's long live Nikocado? I don't see it. Long live Alex. Another Richard. Long live lunch breaks. <clears throat> Where's long live Nikocado? Aren't I gonna live a long time? Right? Mmm. One of those squaggles. You guys, it's intense. This whole like <clears throat> acid reflux every time I eat. But it's not even just acid reflux, it's a whole different thing. My orange juice cleanse can only work so many times before my body says, F you. We're done helping you out. <clears throat> You're on your own now. Mm. Oh my god. This food's good. <clears throat> oh my god, it's so good. I love cheese. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm actually gonna comment on my page right now. Come follow my Patreon, we can all chat. I have like a little uh, hangout room <clears throat> where we can all talk. Let me reply to her, here we go. Okay. Hey, oh. Hey, I have another question. Why is it not working? Hey, I have another question for you, period. How were you able to get tested for your stomach hernia, question mark? Is it an x-ray, question mark? Post. So yeah, one of my followers, she says, I have the same issue as you. It's basically a hiatal hernia. Basically, the stomach's hernia. It goes up to the chest near the esophagus. It presses onto the lungs and heart while you're eating. It makes it difficult to breathe. Shortness of breath is very common. It causes you anxiety that irritates the nerves. Also causes chest pain and lots of acid reflux. Acid reflux is the number one symptom.
Endoscopy or a barium swallow? Oh, Sherry told me the answer. Oh, wait. Why is my phone being stupid? I'm trying to talk to my fans. Oh, wait, you already told me how it's tested. Oh, well. Okay, see, we can talk about my body together on my Patreon. If you're a grown up, my subscribers look out for me, you know? So, I'll let you know when the diagnosis comes. I already know I have it, but I mean like the official. <sighs> it only happens when I'm eating. That's the thing. It only happens when I'm eating. I wonder what the cause is. Is it from, is it from being a little overweight from water? Guys, I'm falling apart. See, I I feel like bubbles are coming up. That whole time I was texting her, I didn't feel anything. When food's going down, it's causing an issue. <clears throat> I'm scared. God, why does my life have to be so dramatic? First, Orland's getting with this <clears throat> attractive Cuban someone. I'm you now having a herniated stomach. My subscribers all hate me. What is my life? I do like the chicken rings. They just, um, they definitely need a dip. Mm. Look at that drop. Ooh. Hmm. I ate all my mozzarella sticks. It was so good. Let's get my french fries out of here. Look at all these french fries. Ooh, man. <clears throat> Looks like I barely even started eating food. Know what these need? Some Costco cheese. We're going to Costco. They better have it here in Canto Bodanese. That Costco cheese was a whole moment for me. It was crazy and intense. Mm. Mm. I hope I don't have <clears throat> a hernia stomach, but <clears throat> it feels acid reflux, just standard acid reflux. I would have it all day long, right? Well, but I also have it after eating. But it does affect your breathing, like regular acid reflux. Because my breathing got real bad last month, and it's been bad ever since. Something happened last month. Oh, I broke my heel spur. God, I'm shutting down. My body's like. We're sick of you. We're taking over. <clears throat> We're taking control of the wheel, Nick. You have no more say. And then my teeth. 
making me upset. Like, and that's not even my fault. That, that part's not my fault. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder if excessive pooping is a, si a sign of a hernia stomach. <clears throat> All the questions I'll be asking my doctor. Okay, thank you, come in. I do not remember the french fries tasting this good. <clears throat> still here. I just got really sad all of a sudden. Hernia stomach, oh my god. It doesn't help that my hypochondriac. But, uh, I know I have it. It explains everything. Am I a train wreck? I feel like I'm such a train wreck. And I don't even try to be. I'm just, I just want to eat my food in peace. But no, all these bad things have to happen. I'm still eating, wow. <clears throat> What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Buy one, get one free. What's wrong with me? I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. I'm perfectly healthy. No one even likes me. People only watch me eat. Let's be real. If I just sat here and talked to you, no one would show up. No one actually likes me. 
except for the people on my Patreon. They like me. Maybe I should just be a permanent Patreoner. F YouTube, I'm out of here. Peace out. I'm just gonna talk to these people. I might. I could. Oh, I could. <gasps> Excuse me. See, there's no carbonation in here. What's wrong with me? See, there's no car. If there's carbonation, I don't understand the burps, but there's like, like I feel like my, I'm, I feel tight right here. Like it's getting tight, like, <clears throat> like everything's tight. <clears throat> Am I falling apart? Am I falling apart? I got to know. You know what? I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna eat the rest of this off camera. So I can do my breathing without y'all being upset. Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C. Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. And if you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a water weight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.